Hey guys, Eric here. So today I'm going to take you through how to deflate and well how to drain and deflate your portable inflatable hot tub. I've been wanting to make this video for a while but I needed a reason to actually uh, pack up my hot tub. Uh, we use it all the time so I didn't really want to pack it up for no reason but we're going to be away from it for a little bit. So I'm going to take this opportunity to drain the water out, uh, deflate it fully, pack it up, and then when we come back to it, we'll reinflate, reset up, everything like that. Um, there is some confusion on the internet, it seems, about how to properly deflate this hot tub. So I hope I can correct that with this video. All right, let's do this. Step one, obviously, uncover your hot tub. Hot tub has to be uncovered. Uh, for obvious reasons, so you can see the water level and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, the other thing you're going to want to make sure of is you want to make sure that your heat and pump is turned off for this. Um, you don't have to disconnect it until it's fully drained, but just make sure that it is turned off. Alright, once you've got the cover off, it's time to think about where you're going to drain the water. Now the first thing is, I've noticed when I look online, older versions of this Salus Spa, not, not this model in particular, but uh, inflatable spas in general. I think there's one called the Coleman Lazy Spa, and there's a, there's a bunch of others. This, this spas like this and, and this exact model have been renamed a bunch of different things. Um, but anyway, older versions, they don't seem to have this pipe down here that goes underneath the spa and has a little hose outlet right here. They just have the plug that's inside the spa right there. And then the water just drains out onto your concrete slab. And it's uh, a lot of water to deal with on your concrete slab. So I'm not really sure what the best way to drain those is. The best way to drain those might be just to use a, the best way to drain those might be just to use a uh, pump of some sort and just pump the water out so you can control where it goes. I'm sorry. Riley's here and he's trying to throw rocks into my spa. <laughs> so I'm trying to stop. I'm sorry, baby. Um, all right, anyway. So you need to connect a hose to this spout here. And the draining process is not gonna start until you actually undo the plug that's inside there. All right, I'm gonna show you where I have this hose running. I could just drain it out into my riverbed right here. Um, but I'm not sure the chlorinated water is actually good for any of the plants or anything or good for the soil So I'm not gonna do that. So what I've done is I've got a hose That runs all the way over here Out there Out my side yard and it goes all the way out to the gutters in the front yard um, I think it's just a better place for the water to go Okay so now it's time to actually start the draining process and to do that all you got to do is unplug the hot tub down there so let's go ahead and do that all right so i've unplugged that and now i'll take you guys out front and uh, all right i'll take you guys out here Show you what's going on. There you go. All right, it's coming out. Again, it takes two to three hours to fully drain, although that's going at a good speed, so maybe only two hours to drain it. That's the first step before you uh, deflate and pack up your hot tub. Okay, we're back and the spa is almost fully drained. As you can see, the water level is quite low, basically at the bottom now. So now it's time for the next steps. 
Okay, next thing you want to do, take out your chemical dispenser here. Pod. And then you're going to take out your filter as well. Right down here. There we go. So take out your chemical dispenser pod and your filter. Just shaking all the water out of the filter there. Once those are out, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect your pump unit here. So let's go ahead and do that. Once your pump unit is disconnected, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that every little bit of water is actually out of the spa. Um, sometimes the best way to do this is to actually flip it over or tip it on its side to make sure you dump the very last bit of the water out. The reason being you don't wanna fold up and store your spa with residual water in there, especially if you're gonna keep it stored for a long time, like a season or something like that. That can promote mold growth and stuff like that and you just don't want that in your spa. So you wanna tip it up, you wanna make sure you get every last drop of water out of there and then you probably wanna run a towel through it just to make sure that it's extra, extra dry. All right, so now that I've got my spa tipped over, you can see here, this is what the bottom looks like. And this is that drainage pipe where the water was coming out of. All right, so we're just gonna let that drip for a little bit, make sure all the water is absolutely out of it. And then you're gonna flip it back over and dry it off with a towel. All right, now that we have the spa fully drained and dry, there you go, it's empty. We can actually start the deflation process. And for that, you're gonna need three pieces that came with your spa. And I'll show you those pieces right over here. The first thing you're gonna need is the inflation hose that it came with. You're gonna need the deflation valve. That's this little piece here. And you're gonna need the deflation this is a, another valve that goes over the uh, pump, and I'll show you how to put these on in just a second. Take you through it. It's really easy to deflate, and uh, yeah, let's get it done. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your deflation valve, this long part right here, and you're gonna unscrew this. This is where you inflated it from, and you're gonna put this right in there, and air is gonna start coming out right away. That's a good sign, so that's working on deflating. Then you're gonna take this piece, this other valve, and you're gonna put your inflation hose, you're gonna screw that right onto the end. Just like that. And then you're gonna unscrew this portion on the other end, and this side is actually gonna go on your pump unit, right here. Just like that. Now you're gonna take the other end of your inflation hose and you're gonna put it right over that valve. Lock it right into place, just like that. Now that everything's hooked up, we're gonna turn on our pump unit. And then we're gonna hit the jet button. That's gonna rapidly deflate our spa. And as you can see, it's already, it should deflate really, really quickly. Probably in about five minutes, the whole thing will be deflated.
All right, as it's deflating, and you see, if you see areas that are still wet, just go ahead and wipe those down to get that dry. Once the entire thing's deflated, you can start folding it up for storage. All right, it's deflated. Now it's time to start rolling it up for storage. All right, now that my portable inflatable spa has been deflated or drained and then deflated, I'm gonna finish cleaning this up, folding it up and putting it away. And then we'll reset it up when we return in a few weeks. Um, should be good to go. Setting up and, and taking down your spa, both procedures should take no more than about five or 10 minutes that's not including water draining and water filling. That's the two most uh, time consuming parts of it. Um, water draining took me about two hours exactly. It was draining pretty fast this time, which is actually really good. Um, filling it up can take quite a bit of time. I would say probably about two hours, hour and a half or so to fill it back up. And then as you know, for the initial heat up, it takes about 24 hours. So. The setup time should be about 10 minutes and then about two hours to water for water to fill up and then 24 hours for it to heat back up. Bring it, breaking it down takes about two hours for the water to drain, about 10 minutes to fold everything up. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, this is the draining and, and deflating your spa. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything like that you can contact me on Instagram also my Twitter if you like this content and you want to support my channel go ahead and join my patreon till then thank you for joining me for another problem solved